onto this situation of really wanting to win. Oh, he's had a big go at this one, and he's got hold of it. This will be six. It is. It's over the tickets. It's into the embankment. Six runs. My word, he hit that well. And that ends the over. It's 16 without loss. Just trying outside off stump, but that's a good shot by Amir Sahail. But adjusted just too much, and this is too short and wide. Look, you can free the arms, good old slash at it. All you have to do then is find the gap. Which points taken up here at the base. That's well played. That'll get over the practice pitchers, and away it'll go for four. Oh, this also shows that there is some good pace in this base and reserve pitch. Plus, really thrashed out at all. It's just a gentle push through the offside, and it raced off the face of the bat pretty well. Beautifully played. Straight drive. That'll go all the way. Willis. Going for a quick one, here's trouble Ramiz must be one out, and it is. It is Ramiz's call. He's been very annoyed, he played the ball into the offside, he took off. This is a good pick up and throw to the keeper. Um, both batsmen ending at one end, and uh, good run to behind the stand there by D. Jamon. Good throw from Nathan Astor, Ramiz Raja on his way, it's 51 for one. Swings Larson away through the onside, he's got it away, running out towards the mid-wicket boundary and will go all the way, another boundary for Emil Sahail. Got behind that short delivery, the ball coming easy onto his bat and pulls it. With two balls left before the fielding restrictions come off. Swinging again through the offside, no need to run for that. Has hammered out to the cover boundary for four more. Two boundaries for Amir Sahail. There is goes down the wicket and drives it in there between cover and point. Admiration for the shot. This is a beautiful shot on the up. Just timed magnificently. Straight as a die into the crowd. <laughs> that is a shot and a half. Clean. Working this ball around very well indeed and Ahmed Sahel gets his 50 he's 17 in one day internationals and that's well batted yeah. well, Wellington's cricketing legend is struck he's on target get much straighter than that it's a pretty awful shot from Amir Sahel he won't be too pleased with that when he sees the replay 58 107 for two in the Second one day in Christchurch, comes out to the Basin Reserve with Pakistan in a strong position, 107 for two in the 25th. for Pakistan. Long ball still to come. New successes. In the air from Ijaz, but it's safe. It's well clear of the field. May pitch and stop, and in fact has done so. Chris Cairns picks it up. They're taking on his arm. They'll have to hurry. It could be well short, no. The throw was wide. Oh, he's had a crack at this. Is it going to be out? It was just clear of Danny Morrison. We've got the man out in the boundary. Interman has hit it in front of Square. It's a great shot, but then Danny Morrison running around almost takes the catch. Execution as well. And that's gone pretty fine. It's going to run away for four. Third man's got no chance, Stephen Fleming. Driving. Good looking shot. That's going to go away for four. Well, he picked the gap again. He knew there was a man square and a man down straight at long off, and he bisected them. Not really much you can say about that. Let's just watch it. Beautifully worked away by Inzabam once again. And you haven't got much chance at all. Sally Malik, with a little bit of width there, was able to get a nice arc, follow through with the bat. change of pace, Patel in action again. Good. Bit of width and just wise, wide of the field, beats the sweeper as well for four. It's a very strong man, very 
a man of strong shoulders, hits it in the air. A good attempt there by the fielder at extra cover. Look seven from it so far. 50 to win Zamarmal Huck. They're coming back for the second on Kansas' arm. He makes it comfortably. The second consecutive one day 50, 24 in all for Zamarmal Huck coming from 60 balls and in 78 minutes. Morrison dug it in short. Gave Malik a bit of width and he's found the gap out there. Zaman gives himself room and his balls took himself completely out of line. Back to way too far. New Zealand. It's too... It's in the air. Four. Through extra cover. Was he Mack from the skipper? Danny Morrison over pitching. And the response is excellent. Well, it's not a good ball. It's well up. It's down leg side, but he's made room. And it's great height for driving. He's picked the gap. Did uh, do a bit of damage to his neck yesterday. Now, that's a good shot. First runs for New Zealand. Got a hand on it out there. But it's going to run away for four. This outfield is quick. So in the air, it's safe, it's going to be four more, he's had a launch at it, not much foot movement, but the result is positive. Loud outside the circle, well that's going to be four more, certainly not where he wanted it to be, but they all count. No matter how well you're hitting the ball, you have to display sound defensive technique. And Craig Spearman really got caught halfway there. He didn't know whether to attack or defend, and he ended up just spurning a catch to Sahail. He took it rather comfortably in the end. Of the oh, that might be crazy, Scotty. Young has gone first ball. Wasi Mack from an edge on this delivery and did it pitch outside leg stump well he didn't get the edge and of course if the ball does pitch out slam relay is going to be out Nathan Astle has gone too hits it straight down to run to lose wickets in this fashion particularly when you've seen two of your partners disappear there has to be time for consolidation and really that shot at this stage of the game was not on slow ball and Fleming picks it and drives it down the ground beautifully for four this was signs in that 45 at Christchurch that he was coming back into it charging now and gets it through the covers for four That was a shorty piece of fielding there in the covers by Basitali. Hit in the cover. Up they go, and Ferrari has gone leg before to Aki Javid, who sends him on his way with a couple of words as well. And a Ferrari elbowed up. Yes, that one, a good delivery coming into the batsman. Playing across the line there, Adam Ferrari. Getting in front of the wicket, uh, right in front of the middle stump. And umpire Watkins had no hesitation there. Oh, cracking drive. That's four. That's a super shot. Is it through point? Now there's a man on the team point fence, and all he had to do to stop this was run about 10 yards. But in effect, he had no chance. The left arm spinner. That's beautifully played, and it's through. That's the New Zealand 100. In the trick. This is high in the air. This is trouble. Fieldsman has it. And that is the end of Stephen Fleming. Mr. Googly, and if it is, it's a difficult shot to play. Well, it, it's, it didn't really turn. It went straight on. Might have been the flipper. It was perfectly placed down that man's throat, down on the deep square boundary. So that really... Hmm. Swung away by twos. And there's a mix up here. Oh, there's definitely a run out. Umpire Steve Dunn points to Chris Cairns as the batsman who goes over both. Because it was a misfield, a full shot here. A misfielder. Well recovered at the end of the day, but the two batsmen 
Well, they just got left stranded. Two's tried to sneak past. But they didn't cross, it seems. And there's a hail. He does the damage there, breaks the... Roger Twos, clean bowled. Waited for Twos to make the mistake. The reverse sweep came out. He's given himself room outside leg stump to try and work a straight ball behind point with a flat bat. And that's very hard. And they cut the wickets, obviously. That's a great shot. Lee Jamon standing still, just bashes a bat in position. And still when he hit the ball, parting maximum of Another shot at the stumps, got it this time, and they'll have to have a look at the, at the replay. It's only a matter of a look. Well, he's, he's going to be struggling from here by the looks of this. Oh. And he... I think we're going to have to see this again. All, all the third umpires at home, watching, watch your decision. So it right down, member on the line is out. he's had it Dipak can't believe it but the camera doesn't lie and Dipak Patel goes Carson goes after it and gets caught very similar to his dismissal in Dunedin the other day Gavin Larson making room as he did in Christchurch but with not such luck and that went straight to the fielder he's perfectly positioned and Amir Sahail hits this one and hits it pretty well he's going to get four wide of the man at long off well played it's hold it this time and that's going to be four well second time lucky leads him on across the line Bowling. well that's fairly conclusive middle stump out of the grounds was him at from the successful bowler and pack it. Well, 261 was always a daunting target to chase. So many things have to go right, and unfortunately it didn't work out that way. New Zealand unable to take advantage of a good pitch at a fast outfield. And New Zealand away to a blistering start. It was 48 in the eighth over, but then it fell apart dramatically. Spearman and Young out to consecutive balls. Astell in the next over, all gone at 48. Ferrari at 64, Fleming at 107. And once twos was gone, New Zealand was really up against it. All out 207, chasing Pakistan's 261. Well, here we see it, and you can see the start that New Zealand had. Look at that, 12 runs in the first over. Craig Spearman really went after Akib Javid. But you can see in the eighth over, the two wickets, the ninth over, I should say, the two wickets, followed by Astor's wicket straight after that. And from then on, it was very, very difficult. A few big overs, but really too many wickets going down. A little bit of a partnership between Morrison and Jamon that the crowd enjoyed, but all out 207. Looking at the Pakistan bowling, Wazim Akram changed the game with those two wickets with the score at 48. Magnificent bowler, he responded as you would expect a champion bowler to do when under pressure. 